lash techs are now doing teeth cleaning and teeth whitening. And not only that, mm -mm, they're actually training other people on how to do it. Talking about some, oh, if you're thinking of a business to go into, consider teeth cleaning. Come, I can teach you. It's very lucrative. And some of you are actually walking into these people's establishments and opening your mouths for them to work on your teeth. This is the point where I say, whatever happens to your teeth in the future or happens to you in the future because of what they are doing in your mouth, I won't feel bad for you. Because that's the way you define, you go see her, bros, auntie, you went to someone that fixes lashes and nails so they can whiten your teeth. Nobody is supposed to be waiting at the fine past you. Because there is no way you can say in 2024 that you don't know that the only person that is supposed to be allowed to be in your mouth, walking on your teeth, should be a dentist, a licensed professional. There's no way you say you don't know that you carried your two left leg to a lash tech. And you opened your mouth for them to be walking inside your mouth, walking on your teeth. I won't feel bad for you if your teeth start falling off. I won't feel bad for you if your teeth start rotting in your mouth. Because you should have known better. It's 2024. You should have known better. And so you lash techs that are doing this, committing this crime, yes, for those of you that don't know that it's a crime, what you people are doing, it's a crime. I hope the, the, the law catches up to you people soon, no? Oh, soon! Before you people do more damage than what people have already done. Because only heavens know, my goodness, what you people are doing, what people are actually doing in those people's mouths. And the way this illegal activity, this crime that these people are committing has become so normalized to the point where they can even post their illegal activities online and nothing happens in this country goes to show you the lawlessness that's going on here. That I can be scrolling on Instagram and I'll be seeing an unprofessional posting how they are teaching some girls that they gathered from one corner how to be cleaning the teeth and whitening the teeth of the public. And these people will actually graduate from this illegal setting, unprofessionally learning environments. And they will also go and establish their own establishments and start doing this to people. And nobody bats an eye. Nothing is being done. Hell, some people will come by this video and call me the problem for calling this madness out. For calling this wickedness out because this is wicked what they are doing. There is no way these people don't know that they are not supposed to be the ones handling people's teeth. But do they care though? No, because they are in it for the money that they can get. Morality to the back burner. If these people even ever did have any sense of morality to begin with. It's immorality that's now to the forefront all because of money. They don't care about the health of these people. They don't care about the side effects of what they are possibly doing because they want money and me calling this out now some people are going to get offended by that because why can't i mind my business right how we take consign me right oh i want to put some stuff for people gary right i will be the bad guy some people will say oh rest i'm supposed to be the one to rest not the people who are out there possibly scratch that high chance damaging people's teeth as we speak right now risking people's health because these people don't know jack of what they are doing. Everything is so out of order. It's out of this world insane. People just be doing whatever the f they want to do and nobody bats an eye. We see the madness as it's forming in the grass level and we do nothing. Starting in our backyards, and I'm not even speaking figuratively here because there is an establishment not too far from where I live that is doing what I'm talking about in this video, and nobody is doing anything about it. Nobody is calling them out. They are operating in broad daylight. It's not like they are in some kind of basement or bunker or anything. In broad daylight. The next thing you will know, you will hear that they are giving people Botox injections now, and all of us go still. See, the kind of health issues we're about to see in the next 10, 20 years, eh?
<laughs> like the madness always starts small but instead of us to dead is when it's still little we all fold our arms and do absolutely nothing and then eventually this madness spirals out of control and now that i think about it that's basically how we got to nigeria that we have today so kudos to us i guess bah so i posted that video to my tiktok account basically just ranting about the situation because it really is annoying me and i needed to get it out of my chest and start this conversation because things are getting out of hand and a sister from kenya who's actually a mutual of mine on tiktok by the way dropped a comment saying it's getting even worse in the usa imagine someone with a certificate in veneer application not a dentist practicing without proper licensing now, most of them are ending up with badly rotten teeth. When I saw this comment from the sister, I was like, okay, since I'm going to be reposting this video to YouTube, because this actually needs to spread. More people need to hear about this. So this madness can be looked into for real. So when I came by sister's comments, I was like, okay, since I'm going to repost this video, I probably should incorporate some of the veneer craziness that has been going on, right? What on earth is going on with this whole veneer tech situation? This is literally ludicrous. If you guys are not yet on veneer tech TikTok, oh my God. Now, some of you might be wondering, maybe you've never heard of the word veneer before. You might be wondering, oh, what are veneers? Veneers, dental veneers, are custom-made shells that fit over the front surfaces of your teeth. They conceal cracks, chips, stains, and other cosmetic imperfections. Veneers are one of the most common cosmetic dentistry treatments. And there are several types of veneers available depending on your specific goals. Only dentists, trained licensed professionals in dentistry are supposed to be the people out there getting these veneers dental veneers done for people because they would know what they are doing because they were trained in the field so it is advised that when and if you do want to get veneers dental veneers you go to a professional to get them done for you if you care about your health if you care about your teeth if you care about life because hello yes life is involved if you go give your teeth to someone who don't know what they are doing you could get an infection which could literally lead to you losing your life but you know let's take a pause on this particular conversation we'll be having that down in the video but back to you know where people are going to get them veneers done right now right because there are people out there who are illegally starting up business right starting up shops calling themselves veneer techs and they are getting these procedures the veneer application procedure see i don't even know if i'm calling it the right word at this point that's how you know i'm not a professional and yes i should not be getting veneers done for people that's why i'm not getting veneers done for people right but back to the gist i feel like my brain is just derailing right now um there are people who are illegally doing this thing that they are not supposed to be doing practicing dentistry in people's mouths and they are not trained dentists to catch you up to speed there are certain people offering two-day courses on how to do veneers on real people and then they're offering these certificates for veneer techs which is not a real position at all and these people are going out there and literally destroying mouths I went to UCLA for dental school, which is a four year accredited program. And during that time, you're pretty much either learning about dentistry or practicing dentistry 24 seven for four entire years. I know that might seem crazy, but you literally have that much to learn. There is no way on earth that you can learn everything that you need to know about veneers in two days. I feel so bad for the people who are being misinformed and lied to and being treated by these veneer techs. This is a picture of a quote-unquote veneer tech that went viral a couple of months ago. Yeah, not so long ago. In this picture, we can see him holding up a certificate that is supposed to prove that he has been certified to be a veneer tech. But the question on the lips and fingertips of caring netizens, netizens that know better, was certified by who? This guy that I saw on Instagram, he posted that he got his veneer tech certification. Very handsome man. Um, but on Instagram, this post has 25,000 likes and hundreds of comments of people saying congratulations, um, major things, elevating, you know, I'm proud of you. You, you, you did so much hard work. 
And where do y'all think that this certificate came from? This certificate has no legal binding for any type of like license number behind it. So what I came to say is blah, 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 blah. It's becoming very normal to start this business. This woman in Illinois just went to jail. I'm adding this at the end of the other video because I'm gonna talk about her too, but yeah, she was doing braces, but her business was the veneer experts. That's the business she started. See, the ish has gotten so normalized, scarily normalized to the point where people are now saying things like, oh, you do not need to go to school to be able to do veneers. You don't need school for everything. And I'm guessing it's this same mentality that we are seeing reflective in the actions of the lash techs and the nail techs and the micro blading techs that now believe that they can be cleaning people's teeth and doing teeth whitening procedures because they believe they don't need to go to school to be able to do that. This is crazy, but I'm just going to let an actual doctor take it over from here because I really can't. You do. You do. You do. You do. <laughs> you need school to put something on people's teeth. You need school to touch people's teeth. Every single one of our teeth have blood vessels and nerves going straight through the middle of them. Y'all can see. Going right to your big brain. Yes. They don't only just stop at the tip of the tooth, they go into the middle of all the teeth. So you got blood vessels in there and nerves. And our teeth are hard and you know, they're bone, but it's only a few millimeters, a few millimeters until you get to the inside. And when bacteria gets in there, you could be very sick. And that's why you need to go to school for eight years minimum some people need nine me i had to do 10 because i needed to go get my master's degree before i got to become a doctor i'm not trying to be dramatic and i'm not trying to put down veneer tax but like people are just not thinking two steps ahead because once these are on who's gonna take them off like this guy has decay all over his teeth and he got composite veneers placed right on top by a veneer tax and I'm not hating on it because it's a pretty dramatic change, but yo, those are just plastered on top of decay. We don't do that. That can cause so many problems and infections. You will be hard pressed to find a real licensed dentist who can pick up a handpiece to remove these because it's just Pandora's box. So all these people who are getting composite veneers that will stain, I guarantee you, within five years, who's going to take them off for you? Because those same veneer techs are going to be nowhere to be found because they don't have a license to operate. They have no license. A veneer tech is not an actual certification. It's a made up certification. Because it's made up, they can't do the things that dentists do, like pick up hand pieces and drill off old arts and crafts and take x-rays and make sure there are no cavities. They have no liability. To anyone who's had these composite veneers done, I honestly just feel bad because these are not easy to take off. Like you do not want some random person zooming in with their Dremel and just removing and hacking away without water, which can overheat the teeth. If you're going at high speeds, they don't have the precision and experience with drilling to stop at enamel. This is just my warning to you guys. It's, it's, it's just a bad idea. It's not a good idea. This veneer tech thing might be the deal of a lifetime until five years later and you got to get it removed by a real dentist and you know what's even more crazy about this veneer tech situation is that just from how they refer to themselves we are supposed to from the jump know that these are people that we probably should not give a go ahead to complain in our mouths because like veneer techs sounds so unserious sounds so unprofessional <laughs> that that's crazy and this brother's perspective on it the veneer tech name situation and the comparison he made in his video drove the point straight home effortlessly like nail on the head check it out if i told you i was a tummy tuck tech would you let me do your tummy tuck i don't know i hope the answer would be no but i don't got much faith in some of y'all nowadays why are you letting someone who has no formal training in dentistry practice dentistry like why why are you substituting them for the dentist someone who went to a, a online certification course and 
we're not even gonna get into the certification thing because it ain't even worth the paper it's printed on. I can give you a certification. That doesn't mean anything. Who am I to certify you in something? Furthermore, who's training them? I know no reputable dentist is doing this because I'm pretty sure that would be a crime. Um, also, going to these people and these people practicing dentistry without a license, that's a crime. They need to be reported to your state's Board of Dentistry or Department of Professional Regulation because they're exploiting people. That's just simply what's happening. Some people aren't educated on the qualifications of what an actual dentist is and they're, they're getting this shabby work because that's what they think is legitimate. There's a dentist that I follow here on TikTok. I think her name is Dr. Davis, and she has a very good breakdown of this situation, and I enjoyed hearing her speak about it. She's a dentist. From a policy standpoint, I fully support expanding dental access, but this is not healthcare. This is scams, and these people need to be held criminally liable. So when y'all sitting here letting veneer text play around in your mouth, you need to understand that putting composite over a cavity can be detrimental to your health. And even a step further, it can kill you. Let's start off with the basics. I don't think enough people know that a cavity can kill you if gone untreated. And hey, don't just take my word for it. If a tooth infection is left untreated, it can spread to surrounding tissue, jawbone, or even enter the bloodstream. Do you know what that means? It means you can die. That's what it means. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It can kill you. So I'm not making any false claims here with this treatment in particular. But if you take teeth that are untreated and you put composite over top of them, it doesn't make the problem go away, right? It's just covering it up and the problem's gonna get worse and worse over time. But guess who knows how to treat cavities? Dentist, no one else. Dentist, who went to school for four years undergrad and four years postgrad. And maybe even more if they specialize in something, especially cosmetic dentistry, right? So. Use your brain, or you might die. And now onto the side effects of vineyards, which from what I've seen, sometimes people who even went to like people who claim to have been professionals or are professionals, there's still something that went wrong with their teeth. Because you see, these things, um, that this is why I would always be like, I mean, at the end of the day, do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy, I guess. But just leaving your body the way your body is, eh? like leaving your body the way it naturally is. I get it. We have insecurities. I get it. There are some parts that you might not like about yourself. But I bet you the safest thing to do is find a way to love yourself, build on that self-love, you know, start from within and work your way outward. Because the risk you don't want to take is going on that table, lying down, and then letting these people do whatever the hell they want to do to you when you're, you're you know, they, they put you out, basically. You don't know what they are doing. Um, because you don't know the side effects you could wake up to. Like, if you're going to get a chipped tooth filled up or something, that's okay. But when you're not going to meet somebody so they can shave down your teeth and then put something else on top of it because you are trying to get this quote-unquote fake perfect smile that looks scary sometimes that's an entirely different ball game that comes with so many risks and i say scary because some of these veneers actually do scare me because they be doing them so perfectly that they end up becoming perfectly ugly do you know it's crazy the amount of people that are saying the best veneers that they've ever seen. Thanks so much. But I'm even happier now because of all the comments and all the messages I get and then people stop me saying, God, where'd you get your teeth done? They look so... That's what I, I was a bit nervous when I got them done because I thought the last thing I want is to get my veneers done and then for not to look natural. You know, I wanted to keep the natural look. So that's why I got them exactly like this. Absolutely perfect. Now, I don't want to gatekeep. I, got, I went to Turkey uh, to get these done, which I think are probably the best. But you can see, look at the shape and the definition. Personally, I don't think it'd be able to tell that they were fake. Like they be doing them so perfectly that sometimes when you look at the people who have these veneers on, they look like they have the teeth of some creature from outside the planet in their mouth. Like why are all the teeth the same lens? Why? Like I don't know how to describe them. Some of them be looking so perfect. They throw the face of the person who have them off, like totally off. They they start to look very weird. Like they are 
not from here. But then again, maybe it's just me. So whatever make you happy, whatever floats your boat. But shall just make sure that whoever you are going to to help create this boat of yours that we hope would float, shall make sure that you are going to someone that is a professional that know what they are doing for your safety, for the sake of your teeth health, for the sake of your entire health. Like I was trying to say earlier, there are some people who get these procedures done and nothing happened to them. They live happily ever after. But who knows? You just might end up being that exception, right? You just might end up being that exception that is going to come out. And in, in, in a couple of months later, you are having a, a rotten tooth situation like this lady that, you know, her teeth was rotting under the veneers. Yesterday, we took off all 20 of those horrible composite veneers. Oh, that were causing my teeth to rot. Do you see this disgustingness? Oh, my God. Look at it up close. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. I could have lost all my teeth. My teeth were rot rotting under those cheap veneers. Or you might end up like, not to derail from the to topic, those people that go to get like BBLs or something, right? Or any other um, cosmetic procedure. And this is me, not me saying, or, oh, you know, speaking down on cosmetic procedures or saying you can't go get them done. See, it's a free world. It's 2024. You are free to do whatever you want to do. But just have it at the back of your mind that you could be that exception. We all have different bodies. Our bodies react differently to things. The way body A reacts to something is not the same way body B or D or C would react to it. We don't know what these things would happen until it happens. And you don't want to. It's, it's just too much of a risk for me personally that I would never do it for any reason whatsoever. But if that's what you want to do, I guess all I have to say to you is try and just make sure you go to someone that knows what they are doing. Go to someone that was strained. Don't be going to them quacks or something. But the point is, like, there are people who, quote unquote, went to a professional and still got, like, negative side effects, like their teeth rotting or they end up unalived or something. Like this lady, too, that went viral a couple of months ago as well and she was crying on TikTok. I believe, what was her name again? Was it Stormy or something? Um... Um, she, she was talking about how sensitive her teeth are now and she cannot live her life the way she used to before because of the veneers that she got, right? From what she said in her video, it seemed like she went to a quote-unquote professional. It seemed like she went to a quote-unquote dentist, someone that was licensed. But see, she still came out having, you know, this negative side effects because, see, at the end of the day, like I said before, just because it was okay for person A when they got it doesn't mean it will be okay for you when you get it. I know that I look crazy and it's so embarrassing to come crying on the internet, but the stuff that I have been dealing with for two years because of my freaking teeth is like I don't even know what to do anymore and like the only place I can really go to is my platforms as everybody pretty much knows two years ago I had um dental work done at Smile Dental Center 32 in Miami and it ruined my life <laughs> like literally ruined my life <laughs> and I'm still dealing with it to this day and I just left another doctor, another TMJ doctor. This is the third or fourth one that I've gone to. And I'm just very overwhelmed. Like, the medical industry, the dental industry in America is like, they literally do not care about what you are going through. Like, everything is about money for them. And, like, I understand, like, people have to get paid. But it's like, the fact that, like, I can't... I can't do anything like I can't use insurance I can't do anything I've already spent eighty thousand dollars pretty much on this whole situation in two years and I go to any another TMJ doctor because I have severe TMJ now because of the veneers that smile dental center did they 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 lost my bite I have severe TMJ I got my t3 done it it didn't fix it that was another thirty thousand dollars it's just like I just had an appointment and like you know they're telling me like okay we could do this we could do this and it you know it could it could be a big money pit and you know it could be you know another 80k and you know it might not work like I spent so much money with so many doctors just praying that something works for me and nothing works nothing ever works 
I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I can't even sue the freaking dentist. Every every time I come on here telling my story about what happened, which is a crazy-ass story. I'm like, just sue. Why don't you sue? If I could sue, that would be the first thing I'm I'm doing. But I can't do that. I can't do that. It's It's not possible. Like can't sue for my sensory issues my sensory issues are unknown every time I go to a doctor they've never heard of it and you can't prove that they gave you these issues because there's no way to diagnose it specifically like it's just a whole thing they offered to give me my money back within the first year and I told them no so that I could bring awareness because like people are just like you know out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be like my life is literally ruined because I got my teeth redone like I'm not even joking like my I'm constantly in pain I can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day 24 7 pretty much to even close my mouth comfortably no bite adjustments can fix it nothing I've done a hundred bite adjustments I've gone to 10 different dentists four different tmj doctors i've done integrative medicine i've done acupuncture i've done everything you could possibly i've done hypnosis i've literally done everything you could possibly do to try to fix these issues i've been called crazy by my primary care doctor at kaiser they told me to see a therapist because i'm wanting what i'm going through at this point like i just don't know what to do i'm in severe pain i've gotten freaking masseter botox twice my fucking face is slim the fuck out like i look crazy as fuck because i'm in pain 24 7 it's just i guess my only thing is just don't get fucking veneers and know that like something like this can ruin your life like literally and quite frankly i'm not giving nobody else 80 fucking bands like no i'm not doing it like the fact that these people are so like just everything is so money driven and like i understand but it's like this shit is like really medical for me like why does nobody care about people in chronic pain without you having to fucking spend 80 bands twice like that's crazy as fuck to me and let's not even talk about the veneer breath because according to word on the streets of the internet, there is, is a breath that comes with it. There's this odor that comes with it, right? So let's not talk about that side effect. Veneer breath is real and it literally smells like death in your mouth. It stinks so freaking bad. And the only way to get rid of it is by either replacing your veneer or replacing the crown. That's it. There's no amount of brushing, flossing, freaking mouthwash, gum, or mint that can help the situation. And listen, not everyone that has veneers or crowns experience is this this only happens if your veneer and or crown was not placed properly and if there's not a good seal between your tooth and your gum area if there's even the littlest of space that's left out bacteria is going to fester there it's going to literally create this foul stench kind of similar to like what a decaying tooth or like what a root canal smells like right and the issue is not only the crazy smell, but if you let this persist for, for so freaking long, you can get a cavity there. You can then have that cavity turn into a root canal situation, or you may let it get so bad completely where now your whole tooth has to be removed. Your whole tooth literally crumbles and it just has to go completely. So y'all, please, if you smell a stench in your mouth, your friend's mouth, your freaking baby daddy's mouth, have them get it checked out because it is not good whatsoever it's just so much headache you have to go through because you are trying to get a perfect smile is any of this worth it the possibility of having mouth odor and rotten teeth and hell people's teeth used to even fall out randomly (laughs) hey just look at this look at this you would just imagine you at your wedding in front of the altar taking your vows or saying your vows, whatever, and then your teeth pop out. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is, what is this? Hell no. Hell to the no. And then you have people who come out with teeth that are looking like, you know, a horse donated teeth for them or something because what is this? They are botching people's veneer application. I'm absolutely bothering to be home. Um... It's just the front arms that are hurting. Walk my features out a little bit. All right. Uh, see, I, I, I don't know what this is. It's with my English at this point. All I know is that... Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
These veneer techs are going to kill someone and it's only a matter of time. Oh well, listen, we have already had this conversation. We had it back when people were getting filler done by their lash techs out of their garages. We had it back when people were attempting to give themselves lipo from home. And we of course had it when people were insistent upon buying random, non-FDA approved sauces from strangers online. At this point, if people are still incompetent enough to allow random, completely unqualified folk to operate within their mouths or give them plastic surgery, it is what it is. We have intervened in the natural selection process far too much. In fact, I'd argue it's how we got into this mess in the first place. Because had we let natural selection run its course, most of the people engaging in said aforementioned behavior wouldn't even be here today to do so. Your teeth, by the way, are directly or indirectly connected to everything else in your body. A tooth infection can rot your brain, inflame your lungs, and kill you. So you'd better hope your veneer tech, who didn't go to medical school or dental school and learn how to properly operate within the mouth or sanitize the area and tools they're operating with is clean. And for those of you preying upon the stupid, setting up your little Instagram pages and TikToks to advertise your unauthorized and illegal forms of dentistry, you're going to prison for a very long time. So I hope you scammed enough to make it worth it.